I think uh, predominantly a lot of people think teachers pension schemes about retirement but in regards to new teachers and people starting the important thing is to understand what it actually offers you straight away because it can be deemed immediately as a very expensive benefit so you can look at that amount of money leaving your pay packet every month and think "Ooh, I could put this towards a mortgage or we could have an extra holiday but until they've actually sat with myself uh, or one of my colleagues, you don't really understand how cheap that product actually is and the benefits that you get back from it. So it's not a retirement time to be looking at your pension. You should be looking at it throughout your career, and especially with the significant changes that have happened within the teaching segment in regards to the McLeod judgment, in regards to what happened back in 2015 and the things that will happen in future. It's so important to understand how that applies to you now with the death in service benefit, the family benefit options, the ill health retirement pension. Primarily down to the fact that you understand what you're paying for. I do find um, that we have found when we've gone out and we've done seminars in schools or we've done them online or remote, we have found that a lot of the questions afterwards is I've opted out. And I'm like, what I'm pleased to say is that pretty much after a conversation with us and the understanding really what those benefits provide to them absolutely now, they go back in. It's a case of knowledge when these changes happen, how they, uh, how they impact. And, and sometimes it's not necessarily at one brush fits all. Sometimes when it comes to the McLeod judgment, there's a lot of people that's not going to be affected and there's a lot of people that are going to be affected. And I think when people are getting closer towards retirement, they're worried about what their pension's going to be. Is it going to be better? Is it going to be affected? Can they continue with the plans that they've got? But with a conversation and time spent with us, we can reassure them or we can look at their specific individual uh, circumstances to actually ascertain whether or not there is an impact and what action they need to take going forward. I do believe when changes happen to a complex product, it's a case of reassurance. They don't need to understand exactly what is happening, but they need to know what does it mean to me? And I think that's the most important part. Helping teachers understand what their retirement is, it really starts with them. Um, we know the teachers' pension scheme intimately you know, like the back of our hands, and we have dealt with probably every particular scenario you could possibly find within regards to a teacher. When it comes to their individual retirement, it's a case of what do they want? You know, the who, the what, the when, the why, um, in regards to retirement, when do they want to go? Um, why do they want to go then? You know, where are they going to live? What are their plans? What we do find a lot of the time is, is how much will I get from my retirement? And that's probably the wrong way of looking at it. It's probably how much do I need? And we kind of do a thorough investigation to what they spend now, what their hopes and aspirations are in regards to their retirement. Do they want to go backpacking in Peru? Do they want to help the children with, the, uh, with house deposits? Do they want to leave a legacy? And from there then we can build up a more structured plan to actually help them achieve those goals and understand how the teacher's pension fits into that. A lot of times the question is, should I take the full tax-free lump sum or should I take the less tax-free lump sum? And we help them with that in regards to understanding what they need for an income in retirement. A lot of the time it, they look at just the teacher's pension as the one and only thing for their retirement goals, but they've also got the state pension, they've also got the other things that they may have had in a previous employer or the spouse's provisions itself. And we help to bring all of that together to build them up an individual plan for themselves. Once we've got that plan, we can cost it, we can see if it's realistic, and then we can take it forward with advice. But it does, it starts with them.